Kia ora, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. A big hello from all the complexity science researchers down here in New Zealand. I wish I could be with you today, but the best I can do is appear on the silver screen. I want to start though by saying that I think this is a great initiative. My colleagues and I are very interested in building stronger connections with our colleagues in Asia, and we are very keen to work with you to make that happen. It might be helpful to give you a brief history of complexity science in New Zealand. I encountered complexity uh, science through Steve Lansing and a number of visits to the Santa Fe Institute. But when I returned to New Zealand nearly 10 years ago, there wasn't much complexity science research being done here. That's now changed. We now have a new organization called Te Punaha Matatini, which translates as the meeting place of many faces. And the reason is that it's all about bringing complexity science researchers together from different disciplines. So biology, mathematics, statistics, economics, but also from the humanities. Uh, so anthropologists, historians, and others. Te Punaha is a virtual center. So researchers are housed around the country, but we come together to work on particular questions. Importantly, we're not a university organization. We also have representatives from the Crown Research Institutes, effectively our national laboratories, but also from private companies that do research for businesses and for government. A key aim for our center is to make sure that our research ultimately translates into policy. We want to change things. As a principal investigator in the center, my own research is mostly focused on complex systems and genetics and anthropology. And I trust that Steve will have already told you all about that. But the research at the center is far wider. We really have three themes. In the first theme, it's all about risk, uncertainty, and decision-making. We have many projects here, like the other themes as well, but in this one ranging from conservation to healthcare. But a key goal is about in communicating risk and complex systems to government. We aim to improve decision-making in policy. The second theme is about complex economic and social systems. Um, this is very much focused on networks, uh, including new basic researcher networks, and we use a lot of data from our Ministry of Social Development. One particular project there, again, very applied, is trying to make better prediction of at-risk children. Can we identify children in the community that are at risk uh, in, their, in their home lives, and their school lives, and can we target more resources to them? The third theme is about complexity and the biosphere. And this is, again, has a lot of different projects, but one of them is about the interplay between antibiotic use and impacts on human health. Of course, New Zealand, we're an agricultural country. And so we're also very interested in the role that agriculture plays in creating antibiotic resistance. But beyond research, we're, we're also interested in other things. Uh, we have a big program in public outreach. We like talking to the public about complex systems. We need to tell them why do they matter and why should they care? And we're increasingly talking with New Zealand Maori groups, our tangata whenua. We're trying to determine what challenges Maori face um, and how we can help uh, address those challenges in their communities. Stepping back even further, it's worth pointing out that complexity science is a relatively new field in New Zealand. It's not something that our universities are teaching. It's not an area that is widely recognized outside academia or even within it. It's not really on the radar of our Royal Society. I suspect that these are the same challenges that many of you are also facing, and it may be useful for us to talk more about them together. We're really excited to make more connections with complexity scientists around the world, and particularly with our neighbors just across the pond in Asia. Creating a more formal network is something that I personally uh, strongly support, but it also has the full support of the director and the investigators of Te Punaha Matatini. More informally, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you and your students to visit New Zealand. There's a lot of wonderful research going on here, but we could do it even better with you. Please check us out on the web and get in touch with our researchers. We'd love to see you over here. No mai, haere mai, and welcome.